Let's solve this integral, the integral of cotangent x natural log of sine of x. It's a double substitution, and to help me out, I'm gonna ask integrals for you to show us how to do it. So here we go. One helpful thing that often helps a lot of the time is rewriting trig functions in terms of sine and cosine. So cotangent, we can just rewrite that as cosine x over sine x dx, and you know when you're gonna integrate with the natural log, you almost never can have something inside the log function. You almost know that that's gonna have to be some sort of substitution. And so if you write it like this, if you write it expanded, if you write it out, you might be able to see that if you pick u to be sine, well, the du, the derivative of sine, is cosine. And so that factor of cosine that's gonna cancel out. So this is our substitution. U is sine x, du is cosine x dx. And so we'll just make that substitution. We replace sine x, and it shows up two times. We replace sine with u inside the natural log and in the denominator. We replace the cosine x dx with du via our substitution. And actually, this is just a good candidate for another substitution. Call it t. Let t be natural log u because the derivative of ln u is 1 over u, which just happens to be inside our integrand. And so this just becomes the integral of t. Add 1 to power, divide by the new power, t squared over 2. We know what t is. t is the natural log of u squared over 2. But we know what u is. u was sine. So this is now natural log of sine x all squared over 2. And as I like to say, every good indefinite integral deserves a plus c at the end. So thank you very much, Integrals for You, for helping me solve that problem. Make sure to go check out Integrals for You and subscribe. Link in the description. Thanks very much for watching until the very end. Have a great day.